Guys, welcome back to a brand new player review on the channel. This is the third player review of the Foot Birthday promo. And in today's video, we are going to be reviewing the 88 rated centre back, Vitzel. So guys, before we get into today's review, I'm going to tell you, I've reviewed Ibrahimovic, I've reviewed the left back Sally. If you've not going to see any of those videos, go and watch them after this. I'll leave a link towards the end of the video where you can go and click it and you can go and watch it. And also guys, subscribe to the channel. I'm so close to 600 subscribers. And I set a target, to set a target to hit 600 before the end of the month. And we're growing so, so close. So come and join the community. Don't miss out on any play reviews, any FIFA content and subscribe to the channel. So, Alexander Witzel, I think it's Alexander, into the pace stats, 73 acceleration, 81 sprint speed. He's very quick. That's something that massively surprised me with this card. He's quite big in game. He sort of looks a bit like Fellini. I get mixed up sometimes. But he's very quick. Into the sprint speed, the 81, it really shows. When he's running back towards his goal chasing attackers, he catches up to them very quick. And we know in FIFA 19, centre backs do catch attackers. And it's no different, it's no different with Witzel, he's very quick. Into the defensive capabilities, 93 interceptions, 90 attack adding accuracy, 86 marking, 85 stand tackle and 83 slide tackle. I've got no problems, there's no problems with those stats at all. He's got the great stand tackle, the great slide tackle and the great interceptions. And we're going to look at the physical, 77 jumping, that's not bad because he's very tall and as we know tall players on FIFA, they usually don't have the best jumping, they have jumping around the 50s and 60 mark, while Vitzel has 77 so it's very good. 94 stamina, 86 strength and 83 aggression no problems with the physical and i'm gonna be honest that 94 stamina um it doesn't doesn't really matter because he's a center back it could be 70 stamina and it wouldn't affect the card but having 94 just means that if you want to move him into midfield his stamina is you know he's just not gonna run out of stamina he's gonna stay fit all game he's gonna be able to run up and down the pitch so guys what do i think about this card Personally, for the price, I think it's very underrated. I don't think many people are going to go ahead and pick this guy up. And it's a good thing. It's a good thing for Witzel fans and it's a good thing for the German League fans because, in my opinion, it's going to be cheap. I estimate that this card's probably going to fall under 100k. Honestly, I think he's going to go that cheap. But let's talk a little bit about the position. He's now a centre back. And I'm going to be honest with you. Everyone watching this now, I'm going to be honest. When I played with past Vitzel cards, I've always thought, you know what, this guy would make a really good centre back. And what did EA do? EA sort of listened to what I thought and what everybody else was probably thinking and put him in put him in the game as a centre back. And I'm very happy because honestly, as you can see from the gameplay, he works very well as a centre back. And we've got to mention the passing. The passing is something we've definitely got to mention. He can spread balls. You could, you would have seen throughout the gameplay. He's um he's fantastic. He, he can bring the ball out from the back. And he sort of opens up space and he starts to play off for your team. And I really like that about a centre-back. He was very similar to um, Varane in that sense. Varane is very good at picking the ball up from the defence. And when there's no pass on in the midfield, he can sort of run it out. And that's exactly what Witzel can do. So guys, the overall rating. The overall rating I'm going to give is a 9.3 out of 10. Honestly, I really rate this card as a centre-back. It's a fantastic card. And he's now in, in my opinion, his best position. His best position. And one other thing. In my opinion, I do think he's better than Ibrahimovic at centre-back. And you're going to say, yeah, well, that's quite obvious. But go and check out the review. Like I said, there's going to be a link right at the end of the video. Go and check out Ibrahimovic. I did play him at centre-back. And I'm, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it for you. You can go and check it out. So, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I've got to say a big shout-out to RMO. He always comments. He's always very supportive on the channel. And this was his suggestion. He suggested to go and do Witzel. And I did it. So, yeah, a massive shout-out to you. So, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you've enjoyed the video about shout any sort of way, don't forget to leave a like. And guys, as always, subscribe to the team and don't miss out on future content. I'll see you next time.